Hello everyone, share technology and share life. In the previous video, I shared with you that the Google GMS was installed on Huawei mobile phones by installing GSpace so that apps such as Google Map, YouTube, and Gmail can be used normally. However, there is an inconvenient that is you cannot easily to open the Google App Store because you can't see the shortcut icon of the Google App Store in the GSpace application and you can only find out the Google App Store through a tricky process, a very tricky process. In this episode, I will share with you how to install Google GMS on Huawei mobile phones by installing GSpace and create a shortcut icon for opening Google App Store on your Huawei mobile phone desktop easily so that you can quickly open Google App Store to install and update Google Apps conveniently. This method is applicable to all Huawei series phones such as Huawei Mate 40, Mate 30, P40, Nova 6, Nova 7, Nova 8, Honor V30 Pro, Mate Pad, and so on or series. I will show you how to install and use it step by step on my Huawei phones. Okay, now let's go. Okay, now welcome to my mobile phone desktop. First, we need to go to the website uh, to download the uh, uh, zip file to the file in which including the GSpace and the shortcut maker. Okay, so let's uh, open the Huawei in uh, browser just down below, I click the Huawei browser. Then uh, there's a web link. I will put the web link down below this video. Then you can click the uh, web link to go to this website to download GSpace icon with the shortcut maker. Okay, so uh, now I will click the uh, GSpace shortcut to download it. Okay, then uh, the pop-up window said uh, you will download the GSpace shortcut zip file, 7.64 megabyte. Okay, we click download. Uh, add it to the download list. Okay, just wait several several uh, seconds. I think wait several seconds. You can see download complete. Okay, now the download complete. Then we let's go to the desktop, and uh, we go to the files, the files manager, the files. Click here. The files to go to the internal storage, internal storage, and go to the uh, folder of the download here, the download folder, then go to the browser, yeah, the browser. So you can see here is a zip file. Uh, please pay attention that you must unzip, I mean, you must unzip this file to the folder. Um, this is very important. Otherwise, you will have some problems if you uh, click this file, click this file directly, open this file directly, and to to uh, to install the application. That doesn't work. So you need to first step. You need to click this one, and uh, click three dot down below, and click extract to extract to. This is very important. You need to do this like a uh, process I just uh, displayed to you. Okay, current directory. Okay, click OK. Okay, so now uh, it, it was uh, extracted. Then we click this folder. Okay, now you can see there are three, um, three files. First, we need to install the GSpace 1.0.5. Okay, let's click that to install the GSpace. Okay, install. Then click allow. Okay, then we click install to install the GSpace. Okay, finished. We already installed. Then we click done. Done. Okay, let's go back to desktop. Then you will see the GSpace already on your desktop. Then uh, we just uh, have it open it. Okay, then uh, some instruction. We click start. And uh, some uh, authorities needed to be allowed. Allow, allow. Okay, now uh, the GSpace will starting to download the Google GMS framework. 
JMS are the related files and the environment to download. It's dependent on your、um, internet connection speed. So you need, if your speed is low, then you need to pay.、Um, you need you need to pay. Be patient and waiting to the G space to download the Google's、uh, environment and in, and install the environment environment into your G space. Okay, just pay. Just wait several several minutes. Okay, the download nearly finished, 100%. Okay, so now the GSpace, I mean the Google's environment, was downloaded and installed. Okay, we just leave it there and、uh, go back to the desktop. Just leave it. Okay, go back to the desktop. Then we go back to the files to、uh, install the shortcut maker, which will be used to make a shortcut of、uh, Google's App Store onto your Huawei mobile phone desktop. Okay. Let's click shortcut and click allow to install this shortcut maker. Okay, then we click install. Okay, done. We、uh, installed this、uh, shortcut maker. Then click done. Go back to your desktop. You can see the shortcut maker already on your desktop. Okay, then we go to the settings to give them. The authorities like、uh, can put a shortcut onto your phone's desktop, and the other related、uh, authorities like uh, the uh, locations for the G space. If you want to use Google Map, then okay, we go to the settings, then、uh, go to apps, then go to apps, then we go to the G space. Okay, the G space. Click G space. Then we needed to give it、uh, the permissions. Here, second one, the permissions of the location allow all the time. Okay, go back. Then、uh, the if you want to use a camera in G space allow, and、uh, the microphone if you want to use your microphone allow, contact if you want to synchronize your contact in the G space, calendar if you want to、uh, synchronize the calendar, body sensor like that, and the physical activity. It depends on your own.、Uh, A requirement and uh, the uh, in apps installation here is the create home screen shortcut. So this one、uh, will be needed to allowed. Then you can create a shortcut on your desktop if you want to run YouTube, Google Map directly from your desktop. Then you need to enable this、uh, create home screen shortcut and the drop down. Yeah, allow more permissions, something like that. Allow. The read, write, instant message permission. Okay, so we already get、uh, permit uh, the uh, related uh, authorities for the G space. Okay, then、uh, so go back and go back. Then you needed to give the permission of shortcut maker here. This shortcut maker. We need to give this、uh, um, app to have the app to give the permission. Second one. The create home screen shortcut allow, so then you can have the、uh, permission to create the shortcut home screen shortcut for your Google application, Google App Store. Okay, then we go back to the desktop, and、uh, the next step is we go back to the file manager again. File manager, then click Play G Space Google Play G Space shortcut. We click that one, and click that one then. We choose other, the last one, other. Then we just swipe.、Um, then we just、uh, go to click the three dot on the down below. Three dot, which means more. Three dot more. Then we、uh, just swipe to the right. Okay, next one, next one, next one, next one. Here, the last one you can see. The last one, shortcut maker. Click that one. Okay, then click, select this one and click just once. Okay, then、uh, click the button down below. Create shortcut. Create shortcut. Here you click add. Okay, so add. You can see the Play Store already added on your desktop, so you can run the、uh, Play Google's Play Store app. App Store directly from your mobile phone's desktop. It's very、uh, easy and straightforward. Very convenient for you to run, to install the app, to run the、uh, Google App Store. Okay, then、uh, it's very easy, right? Google Play Store to click that one to run the Google Play Store and install the YouTube, the Google Map, and Google Gmail's something like that. Okay, we just click that one. 
Okay, then you can, can see the Google Play Store already uh, launched. Then we click sign in to sign in to the uh, Google Play Store using your Gmail account. We click sign in. Okay, then you can see some instructions said uh, uh, your uh, phone will be simulated as Honor 8X to use this uh, simulated phone to log into your Google account. So if you see some uh, warning said uh, a phone or well, phone's name like Honor 8X was uh, logged into your Google account, which means uh, the G Space is using the simulated uh, phone to log into your Google account. So just we just give you this information in instructions. Okay, we click close. Then we key in your uh, Gmail account. Okay, then we click next. Okay, then you key in your your Gmail account password. Okay, then we click next. Okay, we logged in. Then we click I agree. Okay, then we click back up to your Google Drive. We switch off and click next. Click accept. Okay, perfect. We are successfully logged into the Google App Store. Now, I think we need to install the YouTube first to search YouTube. T U B E. Okay, YouTube was founded. Found. Then we click install. Okay, uh, finish the download and install the YouTube. Okay, so next step we search for the Google Map. Search for the Google Map. Okay, we find it. The Google first one, the Google Map. Then we click install. Okay, finish the download and installing. Okay, the Google Map was installed. Then we go to search the Gmail to use the Gmail. Search for the Gmail. And uh, yeah, the first one, click that one. And uh, now we install the Gmail. Okay, the Gmail is installing. Okay, finish the installing of the Gmail. Okay, now let's go back to the desktop. Then uh, we go to the G space, click that one. Then we uh, add those uh, shortcut to your desktop. Create the first one shortcut, add, and Google Map. Create shortcut and click add, and Gmail. Create shortcut and add. So uh, all of them have been uh, added to the desktop shortcut. It's very easy for you to use. Let's go back to the desktop. You can see these. Uh, four icons for you to use if you want to run those applications. Okay, then you can see that if you want to run the Play Store, you can click Play Store. You can see it's very easy, right? Then if you want to uh, run the YouTube, let's go to check the YouTube. Okay, so you can see it's very easy for you, right? The YouTube was launched and you can see it can play the videos. It's very easy, right? Let's. Uh, Ah, yeah, it's very good. Perfect. Okay, now let's go back to your desktop. Then we can run the Google Map. Click, click the Google Map. Okay, so you can see the Google Map can locate to your positions. Uh, it can uh, very easy. And if you cannot run this, uh, um, Google cannot locate your position, then you can kill. I mean, you can uh, just uh, swipe kill this uh, G app and re reopen the this, uh, G space again. Uh, if you still cannot get the location, then you can uh, uh, power off your uh, mobile phone. Then you can restart. I mean, you can restart your mobile phone to then uh, to run this G space again and then run this uh, Google map again. And uh, the Google map can be worked. OK, so you, so you can uh, click one position and uh, you can choose a, a route to start your navigation on the uh, Google map. Okay, so uh, let's go back to desktop again. Then you can run the Gmail to s receive your, your Gmails. Okay, then we get to click got it. And you can see your account already on the Gmail account. Then you click take me to the Gmail. Take me to the Gmail. Okay, so the Gmail can uh, synchronize 
automatically synchronize your emails, Gmails, and uh, you can use it very conveniently. Okay, so perfect. Everything works on your Huawei mobile phones using this uh, G Space and the shortcut maker to get uh, all of those all of those uh, shortcuts. It's very uh, easy for you to use Google's applications. Okay, so if you have any comments, just leave a comment down below. And if you feel this video is helpful, just a thumb up and uh, subscribe the channel to avoid missing future updates. See you next time. Bye bye.